Hi guys, welcome back. So today is going to be a new kind of video for me. Um, I was so excited. I literally just got home from work. I still have my, my Mac jewelry on. I saw the box here. I set my camera up really quick. I've only been home for like 10 minutes. Um, but I was so excited to do this video. I've never done anything like this before. Um, but for those of you that don't know, I follow Graveyard Girl here on YouTube and she always does these shoe unboxing videos. And I found out about this website actually through her, it's plunder.com and you can get shoes, clothes, accessories for up to 80% off. Well, I got a really good deal on two pairs of shoes and I wanted to share that with you guys. So, ugh. here is my box, uh, not open. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. And the shipping was really cheap for two pairs of shoes. It was like $5, which I think is a really good price. Um, but I was just so excited to get these. I couldn't wait. We're having an event this weekend at the counter, and I was hoping that uh, my shoes would be in so that I could wear at least one pair. Um, if you're friends with me on Instagram, you guys already saw this. But for those of you that aren't friends with me on Instagram, I figured that I would share this with you. So... There's a lot of paper in here and a lot of dust. So, oh, here's the first box. And then the second box. Okay. This is a cool box. There is a little handle on the side to hold the box. So, oh, which ones are these? These are the high heels. Oh my gosh, these are so heavy. Look at these. These are cool. Um, I thought this was neat. It has a little skull hanging off of the side. You guys know I love skulls. It has the little studs hanging off of the heel. This shoe has some serious, serious weight to it. Uh, I'm going to try them on for you guys and you will see that next. So I'm outside so you guys can see the shoes. and. They are really heavy. Here's the back. They're so cool though. I really like them. And then the other side. And you can see that this is the little skull detail. Um, I think they're pretty cool. Daisy's behind me freaking out. Um, but I like them. They're kind of hard to walk in because uh, I'm not used to heels and they're very heavy. So, but these were $39 on the Plunder website. And I will be wearing these probably with some skinny jeans. <laughs> okay, so those are my chunky, spiky heels and the brand is, I don't know, <laughs> because I can't read it. Um, Ifladies.com uh, Lovelace Your Face T-Bar Platform um, in black. And I got size 9 because I have rather large feet. So there's those. And now for the other ones. And these ones I got for $16. And some of you are going to be like, oh my god, Felicia, what is wrong with you? But I thought they were so cute. They're like big, chunky converse. And there's spikes on the side. I like these. This looks like about a 1 inch or maybe like a 1 and a half inch. Yeah. Or one and a quarter. I don't know. Um, but I saw these first and I was like, man, for $16. They were they were originally, um, what were they originally? $70, $70. I think the other ones were originally $78. It's on my Instagram. I put the prices in there. Uh, but I will put these on and I will show you guys what these look like. And here are my other shoes. They are high tops, like I showed you. Duh. I'm not used to filming outside. Um, but I like these. I think they're so cute. Here's the front, and then the back. Um, obviously these aren't something that I can wear to work because they have white in them, but I thought they were cute for kind of like every day. Uh, they're a little big, I got eight and a half, so I'm, I don't have socks on with them right now, so I'm definitely gonna have to wear some thick socks, but I have a lot of like wool socks for winter. So there's my other ones. So those are my new shoes. I was so excited when I came home today and I saw the box and I was like, I am totally making a video. Uh, the brand of these are Penny Sue and the Shoe Guru. That's what it says on the box. 
Uh, the ones that I got are an eight and a half. They're called the Decker and they are black canvas. Uh, as far as I know right now on the website, these have sold out. The other ones I believe are still available. I'm not sure of the sizes. So if you're looking for something that's really kind of chunky or maybe, I mean, I think these will look good with like a really cool sort of vampire type outfit for Halloween or whatever. Uh, one thing I didn't show you guys on here, and I don't know if you'll be, you'll be able to see it, but can you see the skull design on the heel? Let's see. Maybe if I turn it this way, you can see it. Um, but I just, when I saw that, I was like, that is too cool. I am all over these shoes. Uh, one thing you do have to, to be careful of if you get shoes like this is making sure that you don't like scrape the side or the back because these will fall off. They were put on by hand, so of course anything that's handmade is a little more fragile. So if you get these, just be wary that these could pop off if you're not careful. So anyway, that's it. I'm done with my little shoe unboxing. Uh, my makeup today, like I said, is just stuff that I wore to work. I used my um, new Rock Candy pressed pigment over the top of my Perky Paint Pot, and I used, <clears throat> I think like... I think it was Embark and Sketch out here to just darken up the outer corner. My lipstick is, um, um, I never know how to pronounce this, Amoris. This is what it looks like. And I lined my lips with a half red lip liner. My cheeks are Peach Twist. This is what it looks like. That is what it's called. And then I just have a little bit of bronzer on. I did use Anastasia Brow Pencil today. I went to work without my brows on, and I felt so weird that I didn't have eyebrows on. Uh, but when I went to work, because I've been wanting to try the Anastasia uh, Retractable Pencil, and I really like it a lot. Um, and I also used the Anastasia Powder. Okay, awesome. I checked through my book bag, because some of them slipped. They're just all worksheets. I looked at my folder, all worksheets. So I don't have any more homework. Are you sure? Yeah, I checked through all of them. So I have had a, oops, a child and now a dog interrupt Sorry, my Mom. video. It's Sorry. okay. Okay, shh. Oh, see, how can I be mad about that, right? And she has five, eight stitches. Yeah. If you guys are friends with me on Instagram, you know that I had some, I had a suspicious area removed off of my arm. Now I have a dog yelling at me. Mm. What? Um, but anyway, I had a suspicious area removed off my arm, and I have stitches. So if you like grossed out by stuff like that, don't look. But uh, I have three internal stitches and then five on the outside. So I just had this done yesterday. The stitches will come out next week. So hopefully I'll hear something back. Um, my doctor looked at it, and she said it could possibly be skin cancer. So... I'm like, whatever. I've already lived through cancer once. Not a big deal. Well, I mean, it is a big deal, but you guys know what I mean. So anyway, that's it. I'm going to go wash my face and get dinner started. So I just wanted to hop on and show you guys my new shoes. So if you're looking for like inexpensive shoes and clothing, they have Jeffrey Campbell on there too. So for those of you that are familiar with Jeffrey Campbell, there are Jeffrey Campbell shoes on there. I saw a pair of Hellraisers for, I believe it was $60, the flats. Um, so just go check it out. You have to be a member. You just make an account, not a big deal. Um, and there are coupon codes all the time, like on the internet for like free shipping. I actually got 20% off my entire order. Uh, so anyway, that's that. Um, if I do buy any more from Plunder, I will for sure let you guys know. So, all right, that's it. Take care, you guys. Have a great day, and I will see you again very soon. Oh, real quick before I go, these are not diaper pins. Somebody at work saw these, and they were like, why do you have diaper pins in your ear? I mean, clearly that piece right there is not like coiled like a diaper pin is but I got these at forever 21 they were like two dollars and eighty cents I'll show you guys these ones too that I got that are freaking everybody out and I did not get these from forever 21 I got these from hot topic uh, but I just shoved them in here uh, but anyway these are not from forever 21 I just stuck them in there but there's they look like screws and it was freaking everybody out at work they were like oh my god do you have screws in your ear did you get gauges I'm like no and no they're just regular earrings they pull out like this see the little stem and then they just go in like that oh my god it was really freaking people out so anyway okay now I'm done all right you guys take care have a great day and I will see you very soon bye <laughs>